how about how about a nice little intro? <laughs> Hello there, everyone, and welcome to another Level Zero. You're welcome for my podcast. I am WPW, and tonight we are reminded of Theseus's rig. If every part of a shitty ambulance is replaced over 450,000 miles by the lowest bidder, is that still the original ambulance years later? I'm also accompanied by Meat Bullis and Hardstick. Gentlemen, how are you guys doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing great after that fucking intro. That woke me up. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> I'm just glad that you finally showed up. I mean, I don't know how many like stupid emojis I had to send to your phone before you finally responded because, I mean, I've bailed on the podcast before, but this is the first time I really didn't think you were going to show up. So for the record, y'all motherfuckers said 12.30. It is currently 12.31. So if we had done the start time, I was told I would have been perfectly on time. 12 th- who 12:30. nobody said 12:30 i got off at 10:30 okay and i got off early and yes there's a time difference in pontucky but still well i mean i'm 2 hours ahead of you guys in pennsylvania here and oh. i set an alarm okay so i could wake my ass up to do a podcast so i, I don't want to hear no shit about dedication or being here on time okay <laughs> So how, how's your liver enzymes? Oh, dude. My INR, my PT, and my T, PTT are fucked. That's all I know. <laughs> like, I cut myself setting up this mic stand, and I'm still fucking bleeding. And I'm not, I'm not sure what that means, but I think it's directly related. That's good. I'm glad to hear it. Which, I'm, glad, I'm glad to hear you're recovering. Which, funnily enough, is I think that the next drunk CE should be about the liver. <laughs> goes without saying yeah uh, honestly liver function is one of those things that like they really like blow through in medic school i didn't get a you know a, a good handle on it until nursing to be honest like and you know maybe that was just my shitty you know medic school but uh when they when they really preach the you know, well, you know, all abdominal pain is pretty much the same. You're just going to treat it the same unless it's, you know, a triple A that's fucking gurgling in your hand. That's really a shitty way to go about it. I mean, (laughs) yes, but at the same time, dude, and granted that was, you know, back in the day when like they were, you know, Orange County didn't really have protocols for, uh, for pain meds for abdominal pain, which is fucking insane. Um, Which reminds me, today I had a fucking old ass medic try to drop that bullshit on me on why you didn't medicate this fucking abdominal pain. And I fucking looked at him. I'm like, bro, that they haven't been teaching that bullshit line on masking the pain for like 15 years. Did you fucking miss me with that bullshit? You just didn't want to restock. And that's fine, but fucking say that. Yeah. Did you explain to him that catecholamines are bad? Yeah, dude, like, I mean, I bet this guy's going to show up next shift and it's going to be, you know, the sticker's going to be on his laptop. And I'm like, I mean, you, did you do anything about the catecholamine release? I don't think you did. And granted, the patient he brought in was a giant puss. But at the same time, like, dude, d- just don't, I mean, just fucking own it, man. If you're not going to fucking do it and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to restock. All right. But don't, don't like, ain't, <laughs> there's no providers that are fucking percussing and fucking and, and like deep palpating anymore they just spin them up in the ct and whether that you know is good or bad this fucking masking bullshit is stupid well it, it's a fucking i don't care if it's what he's done and he's a fucking 30-year medic you still got to research every two years somebody in one of those research classes had to have mentioned it way back when when they first started phasing that out and things like that should just stick in your memory. Oh, we're not doing this anymore. Okay, fine. Right. And even if that's what you you learned 20 years ago, that's not your fucking, your protocols currently. Right. I know what your fucking protocols are because <laughs> they're my protocols. Yeah. Don't fucking, don't play games. Just own it. If you're going to be a shit bag, own it. But And what it comes down to is patient advocacy. 
which is what we always go back to is why we do everything that we do is because we're trying to be advocates for the patient. You aren't fucking being a patient advocate, period. Yep. I don't yep. give a fuck. You know, you call because your appendix ruptured or something like that. Like, I expect that you're giving pain meds for that. Right. You know? Right. And, and yeah, there's situational shit and there's, um, you know, borderline shit. And sure, hold off on that. But like, someone calls and it's like, you know what's going on with them. Why the fuck aren't we treating that? It just, it just, it's, it's crazy to me because what's the first thing that they do when they get to the ER, they fucking medicate them. Yep. Right. And dude, and on our side, like, dude, if we're getting slammed, dude, I, these fucking hip fractures that come in, man, I, dude, I believe me, I want to be able to freaking medicate them. And like our standard is to get, you know, their pain under control before they go, you know, for x-ray, whatever. Cause dude, us, us manipulating their, their, you know, hip and everything is going to hurt like a bitch. So, you know, our local guys usually are pretty solid on that cause they know what's expected. And Dude, you hooking them up with some fentanyl before, you know, they even get to the ER makes a difference. Um, and the amount of, you know, from one particular department that loves BLSing, you know, obvious hip fractures with, you know, shortening outward rotation and like, well, they were in position of comfort, bro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Was it Fowler's? <laughs> Fuck. Well, my, the last time that I medicated is a guy slipped in the snow trying to get into his truck and we showed up and he's like, yeah, I broke my femur once before, like 10 years ago or something. And this dude had shortening and rotation with like what felt like an obvious deformity to like mid shaft femur. And he was like a zero out of 10 on pain. And we're like, OK, well, I'm going to medicate before we like reset this. Um, because I'm like, I don't know how you're not in pain right now, but like, this seems like an obvious fracture. So we actually put a traction. I started a line, gave him five and morphine. And then we, uh, put a traction split on the guys sat there just like chilling, looking up at the sky, like, Oh yeah, I'm good. Like zero out of 10 moved him to the gurney, put him in the ambulance back of that wonky ass bullshit, the whole way to the hospital, zero out of 10, never had any pain. And I was like sitting there looking at him. I was like reassessing. I'm like, uh, does this hurt? He's like mm, a little bit when you touch it. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, that is fuck up. Is this guy not actually broken? And I put a traction <laughs> splint and like gave him morphine. Yeah. We showed up completely snapped in half. Like this dude mid femur snapped and he was zero out of 10. So quick question on, on the five of morphine. Is that something that you would glean from me because they love them some four morphine for Zofran, <laughs> at least in Arizona, and that fucking that extra milligram fucks with these nurses' heads and like I do like I, you know, Walt and I came from protocols where we could go up you know up to ten usually and then like you know sometimes you have to call and I think at some point it got moved up to twenty but like bro I'm popping that top this shit is gone. I'm getting, unless you were two or a hundred, you're probably going to get five. I'm going to watch you for a couple minutes and I'm going to hook you up with that other five and you're still breathing and you're welcome. Fucking candy man. I know restocking <laughs> is all the same. I don't need a waste signature and you're breathing. And I got Narcan and dude, I don't know. Was that, is, is that something you got from me or is that a freaking, are we just that in sync? I, I think I think we just synced up over the years. Yeah, I dude, I just I was like, this is dumb. Why? If, then I'm if I if I repeat, then I have six, and that's that's more. <laughs> yeah. Why would it do that? If, why would you do five and five? It comes. It's ten milligrams in a bottle, and I'm gonna give you two doses. So you know, ten divided by two is five, and that's usually what I go with. And again, it's like if you if you tiny or old eh, maybe i'll hold off or something but yeah like i standard give five yeah. that's why i think all those memes about nurse doses are bullshit yeah i had a i had one of our pas come up like a year ago and she asked she's like hey 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 so so is have you heard of this term nurse dose and like <laughs> I, I can laugh and i'm like like why are you saying it like like hush like we, we don't need anybody to know it's like <laughs> Like, no, I'm familiar with the term, but like, dude, I don't, I don't fuck with that at all. Like there, there's other shit that I don't know that might be going on. I, I'm not, you know, 
omniscient. I don't know. There might be a very, very valid reason why they're lowballing the shit out of this. And I'll go freaking ask them. I, I don't care. Uh, most of our providers are not offended if I ask, you know, you know, stuff like that. But like, no, dude, I, I don't fuck with nurse doses because, dude, shit happens, and some stupid floor nurse upstairs is gonna fucking repeat, and then this person's gonna freaking, you know, be a a rapid response. Uh, yeah, I I don't fuck with that. But it was so funny. She was so concerned, and like, she's like, well, I I just trust you. I just I just want to ask you, is this a thing? Because I think I think that maybe this happened. <laughs> it's like, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. She's like whispering in your ear, like, did you hear that Cheryl fucked Dr. Peterson at the Christmas party? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was like, and there wasn't anybody around either, but it was like hushed tones. I'm like, oh, this is scandalous. <laughs> I, th- I thought there was going to be something interesting, but you're bringing up nurse doses to me. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That'll be a, a news story. Tonight, this hospital's secret shame, nurse doses. <laughs> yeah, providers fucking lowballing fucking pain meds and then the fucking nurses that just, you know, do what needs to be done. No, yeah, I, I don't do I don't do that shit. But um we uh we do have a provider that um she she must use a different order set than everybody else because um she'll put in essentially a weight based and when it comes in like what she means is 25 mics of fentanyl, but it comes out to 23.11111. I'm like, my eyes are not that good. And if you fucking expect that out of me, you're, you have way too much expectation for, for my, my eyes. But yeah, exactly. Exactly what Walt's gesturing. Yep. <laughs> yep. It makes me laugh every time I see it. So in that way, yes, nurse dosing. <laughs> So I got I got yelled at by a nursing home the other day. Like the building? <laughs> yeah, the physical building. Uh, we had a late. It came in as a GI bleed, and we showed up and nursing up. Ladies like a thousand and had dementia, and the nurse is like, "Yeah, she has a GI bleed," and we're like, "Can can you elaborate on that? Like, what are you guys seeing?" And she's like, oh, I was just told it's a GI bleed. I'm like, okay, well, who checked her out? Who is, like, saying this? And she's like, oh, I'm, it wasn't me. I'll go get another nurse. Right? Okay, so we, like, walk in the patient. We're like, ma'am, how you doing today? I'm great. And okay, so, like, nothing from her. And second nurse comes up. She doesn't know. Third nurse comes up. She doesn't know. So we're like, oh, well, I guess we'll just load up the patient and try to figure out what's going on. But she has, like, no complaints, like, physical, you know, like, nothing. And... A fourth nurse comes up with the previous three. I don't believe that you found four nurses at a skilled nursing facility. This <laughs> this fucking this entire story is bullshit. I know, right? Well, shit. Uh, yeah, I don't think there were any nurses left in that facility at this point. <laughs> you know, I think they're bringing out the cooks and shit from the back. Uh, hey, put these scrubs on real quick. Um, they just put on different wigs from the arts and crafts room. <laughs> and she, I walk outside to get a report and the first thing she says is you pull this shit every single time that you're here you think you're a paragon and that you know more than the rest of the nursing staff and all you do is come in and start asking questions to everyone i'm like you're not wrong (laughs) i'm amazed that this woman knows you so well in such a short period of time still and i had no idea who this bitch was either man (laughs) And she just says, the patient has a damn GI bleed. Take him to the damn hospital. <laughs> and then 180 wow. walks out. <laughs> yeah. So I still don't know what was wrong with her actually, but <laughs> it's like, ma'am, this might, this might surprise you. There's two holes where the said blood can come out of. I'd like to know which one or if it's both. I didn't. It seems like a reasonable fucking thing. Yeah, and their whole thing is we called and report to the ER. I'm like, yeah, they're not gonna have that when we get there. Like, you know how this works. Someone writes it down on like a like a little sheet of paper, and that gets thrown into the shredder five minutes later. Like, they don't know shit. And from the other side, when they do that, the pre-arrival is usually the fucking same shitty report that you got. So, yeah. oh, we called it in, or they haven't called it in at all, and they they say that nobody actually did it. And when they get to the hospital, like. I don't know fucking anything about this person. Are you insane? Like, 
uh, and cool. You send a demented patient that quote GI bleed. Okay, cool. Like we're, we're going to do all the things, but the fuck <laughs> be nice. If we didn't have to. That's yeah. one of the biggest problems with the new area that I'm working in is that in our County, we are the only ambulance provider. So like, yes, we run all the 911 stuff, but we also do all the like IFTs from like nursing homes that I'm not like used to doing. So we run some bullshit, man. We're doing peg tubes and you know, all that crap. We had a lady who they called for urinary retention and they couldn't explain like why they were sending her out. Well, I'm like, when's the last time you urinated? Well, I'm not sure. Then the night staff said that I'm like, okay, well and she, we asked the lady, she's like, no, I'm fine. I'm like, well, okay. We ended up shipping her out anyway. Turns out they shipped her because her diaper was dry that morning. And so they were calling it <laughs> urinary retention because she didn't pee during the night. And she usually pees. And so literally the reason we transported this lady by ambulance to the hospital. And the best part is that when we transferred her over to the bed, the first thing she did was piss everywhere. And I'm like, okay, send her back home. <laughs> Fixed it. Yeah. Heaven forbid, like one of the CNAs went in and like swapped a diaper like they're supposed to. And oh, it was dry. Yeah, I know you guys probably aren't used to ever, people ever having dry diapers that aren't fucking completely Jeez. like shredded and. Oh, so you didn't you know, make an so, old lady sit in her piss all night? Better send her to the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so speaking of piss, oh god. So one of our travelers, <laughs> she's dude. She's, speaking of she's, piss, the Level Zero podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, she is so pissed. So one of uh, uh, so one of our one of our travelers uh, we affectionately call Canada. Um, she, I was I was pushing beds. I was floating today, she so I was bringing Texas? a bed back. Uh, I, so the funny thing is, she's actually from Switzerland, um, but she's Canadian. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, has neither accent, which is boring. But either way, um, so I was pushing a bed er earlier and. Um, the bed was was gross and she was trying to jump on the bed and you know for me to push her and i'm like no 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 don't don't do this one this one's gross i didn't clean this one before i came back um so i took another one up to the the covid rule out wing and this lady had pissed everywhere on this bed it, it had the giant pool of piss it wasn't my patient i mean either way so i wiped it down just so i didn't have to smell piss while i, I pushed it back so i get back and she in canada comes up she's like can i jump on this one and i was like <laughs> yeah it's clean well i had pumped up you know to my height so she's kind of short so she jumps up well the gurney i'm still pushing it the gurney hits her dead in the stomach and so she tries to jump up like she's gonna you know like you know yeah, like she's going to land on her stomach. So either way, her face goes pretty much square where that puddle piss your <laughs> puddle of piss was, smacks her face in it and immediately can smell the piss on her. I fucking died. Oh. And she was so spun up oh. and it was it was on her and <laughs> Oh God, it was the best. And then she ran up and she was trying to jump on my back to rub the piss on me. And I'm like, mm -mm, that was my last transport. One, I don't care because I'm going home. So you can put your, your, your pee scrubs all over me. Don't care. But either way, suck, suck. Oh, hard stick. I'm so wet. Mind if I dry <laughs> off on you? <laughs> Yeah, so she, she, she was she was a little spun up about that, but dude, it was the best. So of course, I, you know, I had to go tell everybody that I could find, like, hey, just nonchalantly, like when she comes by, like, <laughs> not like pissing here. <laughs> and I really hope they did that for the rest of her shift because she had a whole another hour to walk around covered. We we had to do a discharge the other night going to a nursing home, and there was some issues with the equipment that we were supposed to transport with the lady. And so the administrator calls the nursing home and we're in the room with him and he's got the phone on speaker. He calls the nursing home and all you hear is H hello. He's like, hi, who am I speaking to? Uh, this is Gladys. 
Uh, are you a nurse? <laughs> no, I live here. So <laughs> there was one of the residents who was picking up the phone. And so he's like, he's like, is there a nurse around I can talk to? No, there, there's nobody here right now. And, and and he's like, are you okay? I'm fine. I just haven't seen anyone. And we're like, oh my God. <laughs> he called back six times and every time that lady picked up the phone. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. Gladys give a better report than the staff. <laughs> She's not a janitor. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, so she had coffee ground emesis and black tarry stools for three days, and she takes Eloquis and she's like, Gladys, bravo. <laughs> Honestly, the ones that are with it probably know more about more of the the fucking neighbors that they have than the nurses do anyway. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, out here, like uh, a lot of the the local vent farms, like dude, the RTs are <laughs> vent phenomenal. Farm? Vent farms. Yeah, vent farm. <laughs> yeah. Vent farm is down the road underneath the bridge, but vent <laughs> with a V. <laughs> no, the R the RTs know way more and it's usually stuff that it's actually pertinent. And I dude, I get it. The skilled nursing facility has twenty fucking patients per LBN or nurse. That's insane, but still. Holy shit. Yeah, I only feel so I don't feel as bad getting a shitty report from some of these places when I know that they just get fucking hammered all day. Yeah, dude, and, just give me the packet. Yeah. And honestly, it, we had a nurse yesterday, I think yesterday from one of those places, and she actually apologized for giving me a shitty report. And I was like, if you're aware of it, that's finger. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're welcome for the fucking 20 audio files that you're going to have to deal with today. Yeah, this podcast cut out more than fucking Meat Bolus's heart. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, continuing from where you were at, so nurses Our audio admitting. Is a sinus pause. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so you're saying that uh, um, nurse is actually uh, owning up to giving oh, yeah. shitty reports? Yeah. If, if you own up to giving a shitty report, like we're good. That's fine. Yeah. You're aware of it. That means I won't remember your name because the only names I remember are the shitty fucking, the ones that give the repeated shitty reports like, oh, it's fucking Brenda again. Great. <laughs> This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, you went... I thought you froze for a second. Oh, I thought you froze. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, he's cutting out again. <laughs> well, I started talking, then your ass was like, <laughs> today on the mime podcast <laughs> so either you guys been playing any <laughs> xbox lately no <sighs> no I, I played a little valhalla every once in a while um but i'm so over leveled it's just stupid and it i mean it is kind of fun though because I'll run into the the Templars, which were terrifying in the beginning. They are way, way, way over leveled initially, and they just beat the shit out of you. And once you learn, once you learn the dodge and how to actually do the fighting in the, in the the last couple games, it's fucking over. And just now, I can just beat the shit out of them. Um, but uh, no, I hadn't I hadn't really been playing all that much, which sucks because I freaking finally got a, a Series X, and now I'm not really playing. You got the grail and now you're done. Dude, for real. I, fuck. I don't know. Are, uh, Walt, are you playing much or no? Nope, not at all. And it sucks because, yeah, I got the Series X, but like, there's no fucking games. <laughs> yeah, that's a, I learned that lesson you know, decades ago. The new system comes out, it's got five games, and I'm not interested in any of them, so why do I got to fucking... Yeah, there's literally no it. exclusives for it. It's just Xbox One games. I mean, yeah. like... I don't regret getting one because I knew I was getting one anyway, but damn, man. And yeah, Cyberpunk is just, the it's the newest game I have. And like, I just can't like commit myself to playing it at all. And I don't have that much time either. Yeah, you know, It's like when problem. GTA came out, I was like, oh, I got like 20 hours a day to commit to this. But <laughs> are you guys busy enough where you can't play at the station? Oh, we're busy as fuck. 
Oh, okay, because like, dude, but back when it was a freaking E, like we, dude, I used to bring my Xbox like every shift, and then when oh I yeah, went we out, used to play Nazi zombies and shit. Dude, well, yeah, when I went went out to to Riverside, like, dude, it was fantastic, and we would have you know some downtime, and it was fun when we would play, but uh, yeah, dude, I I really just don't play much anymore, and it's not like I have you know, because like when we used to play Destiny for hours, like, dude. I had a freaking small infant child, like, and I still played more than I play now, you know, with a, a grown kid, which is crazy, but. Yeah, my son's a Fortnite kid, so I play Fortnite sometimes. Ew, ew. He and I will switch off, but because it's, <laughs> it's bonding time, you know, because he doesn't have his own Xbox Live. If he had it, I would put it on my laptop and then we'd play together, but I don't want him having live yet. He's not quite prepared for that, I don't think. But I just play it to, to try and pull off insane shit because, like, now there's cars in it, so you can drive. And I, I'll try, I'll drive up on somebody and then try to switch seats and lean out the window and headshot and you know do shit like that. So he thinks I'm a fucking hero. So you don't <laughs> want him to go on Xbox Live and hear people talking about fucking his mother. So now you're panning <laughs> and talking about fucking his mother. <laughs> uh, yeah, Man. I. My my son's been like he's he's gotten pretty good. Where you know some of the like dungeon crawlers, like we've been playing uh, Marvel Ultimate, uh, Ultimate Alliance, and um, he's gotten pretty good. And the only thing that drives me up the fucking wall is we'll get a new character, and I'll I'll pretty much commit. And my wife will commit to you know a, a character or two, and we'll just level them up. And like he'll jump on the the new shiny one, and dude, they're under leveled. We're getting the shit kicked out of us. Can you please just fucking commit to a fucking character? Like Iceman, yes, it's cool that he flies around on a sheet of ice, but he's fucking 30 levels under us and we're getting fucking boned for the love of God. I'm going to fucking lose it. There's my daughter does not really play video games at all. And I'm not against the idea of her playing, but God, she's so terrible at them that it's really hard for me to like sit down and be like, okay, we're going to play this for an hour. Like there's like an adventure time game that was free and I have it downloaded and she was playing that. And like you sail around in a ship and I'm just watching her like, like hit into the same like wall and the water is like over and over again. I'm like, dude, like move to the right or move to the left. This is not difficult. <laughs> Well, do you let her into um, into your Stardew Valley account, or is that just like <laughs> not appropriate for her age? So she she loved playing Stardew Valley because she just wanted to ride the horse all day. But and she fucked with my turnips. I'm like, you're not doing this shit again. Did like, you ground her? <laughs> yeah, no, I beat her. <laughs> <laughs> in game, in game. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, did you guys yeah. grow up playing much video games or no i mean for me it's i mean i didn't even have fucking tv so i don't know why i'm even asking him atari 2600 fuck yeah yeah i got the atari 2600 in seventh or eighth grade and i mean yeah i, I played a lot of games but they weren't involved so you know after an hour of bouncing a square around the fucking the same screen like i was like oh i'm going outside i'm done you know so they didn't have they didn't have the fucking dopamine release that they have now you know and, and when they did it was because you spent days trying to get to the final which was also the third level of some fucking game that was just rage inducing because you know collision detection sucked and your hand-eye coordination sucked and the game was so fucking hard that half the time you just quit instead of spending any more time on it yeah those games if you if you're good at them you could beat them in like 10 minutes but the issue is being good at them because they're all hard as fuck yeah but yeah i grew up playing video games man i had a nintendo and then super nintendo and just kind of moving up the list but <laughs> I, I remember when i was like eight or nine or something i was out in the front yard with my dad and uh i had a like a wiffle bat and he was throwing a wiffle ball at me and you know we're just like you know doing batting practice and all this stuff and i hit one and it went straight back and hit him in the nose 
and he started like bleeding profusely like oh god and i just remember just like dropping the wiffle bat and i went inside and started playing mortal Kombat on the super nintendo and he came <laughs> back and, he came in and he was all pissed off that i didn't give a shit <laughs> Well, you got your face up on me, son. Well, whatever, man. <laughs> Fucking scorpion backpack B. <laughs> you got your fatality on your old man. You should have told me to get over here. <laughs> should have had your eye on the ball, you stupid asshole. Oh. <laughs> dude, Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo was bullshit, dude. There was no blood in it. I never oh. liked Mortal Kombat. I never liked the arcade game. I didn't like any of the home versions. I just... I couldn't get into it. I hated the animation. I hated the fucking sound effects. I was a Tekken player. Oh, wow. So, I, I want to know the weird shit that you're into now, man. <laughs> well, we used to do, we would have like those Nintendo 64 nights where you'd play Mario Kart and Goldeneye and drink. And you just, oh, we're going to do this. I, I got enough of that with my fucking wife. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what do you call him? It's fucking Mario. Mario. She's like, Mario? <laughs> yeah, how do you say it? Mario. Oh, that sounds fucking awful. Don't say that. You're saying Mary and then adding an O. Yeah, Mario. I grew up with a Mario. Jesus Christ. You <laughs> run this fucking Facebook page? <laughs> we called him Mario. <laughs> you work with he that didn't... fucking bullshit out there? <laughs> he never corrected us. That's how you fucking say it. Mario. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's gonna love that. <laughs> Want to play some Mario Kart? Super Mario Bros. <laughs> Your fucking coast is retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh. Yeah, dude the the area that I'm in, man. There are a lot of words that they can't pronounce correctly. And you mean I the heard aria? <laughs> <laughs> the, the the new one that I found out is there are a lot of people who pronounce the word pencil with an R. It's pencil. <laughs> the fuck? It's a pencil. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. And, Wait. and they don't say dinner. They say supper. Yeah, last supper. That's bullshit. They go, to, they go church and where's the r in that pencil is it pr Pren yeah pencil pencil yeah i don't know that's fucking strange and wash instead of washing something you wash yeah it. wash fucking dr dude the first time i heard wash oh my god well i do that too that's that and uh your drawers mary is washing his drawers <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking mario God damn, dude. I can't look at you the same anymore. I'm having trouble it, getting past this. Is it because I'm wearing a fucking zip-up hoodie with no shirt underneath? Yeah, I was kind of noticing that, dude. You got the titty tattoo. <laughs> Does it say live, love, laugh? It says so other mate, but I ran out of money. <laughs> <laughs> so others may would be a great tattoo. <laughs> right on your lower back. <laughs> <laughs> but purposely have it like aligned to the left like seriously no it's a work in progress let me get filled in i wouldn't even finish others just leave it at other <laughs> that's where i ran out of money right there <laughs> oh and then a and then a punisher <laughs> right right below it <laughs> Oh, Jesus. God, I heard the funniest fucking Punisher Skull joke the other day, and I don't remember it now. Oh, that would have been it. great for the podcast if you uh, didn't have dementia. If only I fucking dementia. wrote shit down. I wrote down my Thessius joke. <laughs> Should have taken your Maricept. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Remenda. You Remenda? I'm Menda. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh, so did you guys watch Wandavision? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so we, yeah, go ahead. Are, are we just gonna start talking about 
Falcon and the Winter Soldier from now on. Now that WandaVision's over. Oh Probably. yeah, no, I, I just signed up for for that uh, that subreddit, and that shit was hilarious. And I sent you guys a couple of those fucking yeah. <laughs> Mephisto confirmed fucking memes. God damn it, <laughs> I fucking love that it's the same bullshit crowd, <laughs> and they've just shifted over. <laughs> well, the the page that I was sending you guys the Wandavision memes from was I don't remember what the fuck the name of the page was, but it was something Wandavision something something. And immediately after the last episode, it became the fucking uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier something something meme yeah. page. Like just done, abandoned. <laughs> Move on to the next one. I fucking died though when I found that subreddit. Wanda did nothing <laughs> wrong, and <laughs> <laughs> so I with my son, I watched. Uh, we watched uh, Avengers: um, Infinity War and Endgame, and I, you know, I kind of explained most of it. And uh, to be honest, like for him being seven, like it's. There's there's only a couple parts like okay Loki getting choked to death that's a little rough hey dude look over there for a second he's like fucking scraping his feet on the ground trying to fucking gasp for air I'm like not appropriate not not appropriate um, and uh, yeah there's like a handful of other ones but like trying to explain it and he honestly did really well with uh, with those movies uh, he did fine and like I was saying we were playing uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance three so like he he understands all those characters and. You know, you think I have a freaking autistic brain for stupid facts. Jesus Christ, this guy's, you know, my son is 10 times, you know, the the memory I have. It's insane for random facts. So he knew every single person in the entire movie. It was ridiculous. We took we took my daughter to see Infinity War when it came out in theaters. Mm -hmm. And so she must have been five at the time. And man, that was a really, really quick time for us to start feeling like shitty parents for bringing her to that. Cause like literally within the first like five minutes, Loki gets choked to death and we're like, look at her and she's just got like bloodlust in her eyes. Like <laughs> <laughs> don't give a fuck. And we're just like, this is appropriate. And then like, you know, there was, it, that is not an appropriate movie for like that range of kids you know like it, right. and then we get towards the end and they're all just like ashing up and dying and all this shit i'm like dude what are we doing to this poor child dude for real trying to explain like why iron man is upset that fucking spider-man's dead and not get fucking choked up like <laughs> my son's like why are you fucking why are you crying you little pussy like <laughs> well see he doesn't have a dad and then like this is like his father figure and that's why he's sad <laughs> like voice is cracking <laughs> god damn it focus focus hey, at least your kids have the fucking still have the uh the attention span to watch movies i can't get my fucking kids to watch movies anymore they literally don't have the patience to sit there i got excited because they put the predator in Fortnite a week or two ago. What? Yeah. <laughs> you, oh, your kids are older. That's fine. <laughs> That's not that bad. At least 10. Well, I mean, there's nothing bloody in Fortnite, but no, but there's just a, but, Oh, I thought you were going to segue to, Oh, so we watched predator. <laughs> well, I tried. I was like, fuck yes. He, Cause he's like, Oh, look at this skin. This guy's cool. I'm like, Oh, we're watching predator. Come on. And like, it starts off the fucking dramatic 80s Arnold movie music and oh Arnold yeah there's the helicopter. a helicopter there's definitely a tonal shift about halfway through that movie man yeah like, beginnings that cheesy I ain't got time to bleed <laughs> but we didn't even get that far like he's like this is old I'm like shut up watch it and he just he had no fucking interest I'm like it's fucking Predator Predator's in this movie it's about Predator yeah I don't fucking care oh god Dude, that, that hurts my heart, man. Fucking, it, it's all this, you know, 30-second shit that started with things like, you know, SpongeBob and that era of Nickelodeon, you know, just fast flashes of fucking information. Boom, 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 boom. No real story, no real lesson, just ha -ha, funny laugh, funny laugh, funny laugh, done, next one. You know, now you see it with TikTok and all the other Instagram short movies, and it's just, it's sucking out people's i mean it, it's sucking out my ability to fucking to sit for long periods of time and read you know I, or watch I, I can watch a show at a half hour clip but to commit to like you know an hour show every week i don't fucking have it in me oh no i feel you 
Yeah, my 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 daughter's like that too. Where you know, I'll try to show her some, and like I want to share all the shit that I loved when I was a kid. You know, like right. hey, let's watch Star Wars, and you know, let's you know check out these movies, and like we we ended up watching uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And like I've seen that movie probably twenty times at this point. Right. I don't know how I didn't remember how insanely inappropriate that is for like a young <laughs> kid. <laughs> like it's <laughs> just insanely inappropriate. And because like the standards back then were different than they are now. Yeah. <laughs> and like we get to the end and all the Nazis like faces are melting off. And oh, that was a nice conversation I had with my daughter explaining what Nazis were because like she didn't know <laughs> who are all those people with those like red white things like oh dude i guess i have to do this now so there was this dude uh, his name was hitler he was kind of a dick and there was like a bunch of fighting and shit and yeah (laughs) i remember my friend richie seventh grade his dad took he and i to go see the road warrior (laughs) and uh (laughs) richie was filipino and his, his dad was a surgeon and his, his mom was like one of the head nurses at the, the hospital up in Jersey City. Really intelligent, uh, well-to-do family. They lived on our block for like two years for some reason and then fucking moved. Um, but we're sitting in the Road Warrior watching this fucking, just this carnage. <clears throat> and, you know, Richie and I are loving it. And there's a point where during one of the car chases when they're like taking off initially from one of the camps car blows past this tent and it rips the tent off or rips the tent out of the ground. And there's a dude and a chick in the tent screwing. (laughs) And I just, I just remember his dad leaning over and going, don't tell your mother. (laughs) (laughs) I remember when I was like 12, my dad took me to see this movie. It's called kiss of the dragon with jet Li. Mm hmm. It's actually a pretty dope movie. Damn it. Dope. dope. And um, he asked his coworker, like, hey, is this appropriate for a 12 year old? The guy's like, yeah, it's fine. It was R rated, but like, whatever. Oh, it's just violent. So, like, <laughs> literally, the beginning of that movie is that song. I think it's, I can't, is it Cisco or something? But it's that shake your ass, watch yourself, shake your ass, show me what you're working with. And I don't remember who sings it, but that's the beginning. And there's like all these hookers like dancing on a pool table and they're like getting naked and stuff. And I'm like 12, like, oh, my God, what the fuck is this? This is the greatest day of my life. That's awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, that was a, that's a fucking Luke Besson movie. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I just remember there's a part where he like takes a needle and puts it like in the dude's neck, like the back of his neck, and he like paralyzes him. He starts bleeding mm-hmm. from like his eyes and stuff. Speaking of Luke Besson, a few episodes ago we were talking about something, and you made a comment about um, what a shitty movie The Fifth Element was. Stand by it. And I was exhausted <laughs> that night, and I didn't want to argue it. I didn't have the energy. But it, it kept bugging me. I'm like, fuck, man. How can you fucking think The Fifth Element is a shitty movie? The fuck? So then I went back and I actually watched it. And I was like, all right, he's not totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Some of that film is fucking great. Okay. No pun intended. There are really good elements in that movie. <laughs> yeah. But overall, it is just fucking stupid. And if you remove Chris Tucker from it, uh, he... What was the name of the Ruby Rod? <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday. You ain't got no job. You ain't got shit to do. Coven, Coven, my man, Coven, Coven, Coven. They shoot another Coven. <laughs> oh god. Um, what was? Okay, I'm gonna throw this out there because now we we brought up Indiana Jones. I hate Temple of Doom. I fucking hate Temple of Doom because of I forgot her name, but the blonde chick in it. Uh, Kate something in it. Yeah, yeah, it's Kate something. Her Why? and Short Round are the most annoying goddamn characters. <sighs> Dude, how do you not like Short Round? Come on, okie dokie, Doctor Jones. 
no time for love, Dr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like it was sweeps week and they had to add like a new like character to, to get better ratings. <sighs> it's I remember like that. At, with Oof one, though. Yeah, I, dude, I remember too. I, I remember uh, Temple of Doom just being better than Raiders as a kid. Oh, I know. No, okay, no, 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 please, oh, please, please. Oh, shit, man. I was about to walk off this goddamn podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like someone just said Mario or something. You almost <laughs> lost your shit. <laughs> podcast. <laughs> no, like death, I'm going home. No, dude, freaking Kali Ma and freaking you know ripping the heart out, like, dude, that was insane when we were kids. And <laughs> yeah. like, but no, freaking Raiders is dope as fuck, and um, Last Crusade is you know is fantastic too. But no, I I see your point. But for me as a kid, I just thought you know, especially the end of um uh of last crusade is dope like just the the trial and all that stuff him walking through i just thought that was the shit oh yeah, yeah. um all the fucking booby traps and stuff i just thought that was cool as fuck yep um and, and raiders has a lot of slow points i mean that is not a film for for kids especially for kids today that have zero fucking tolerance for which one on. uh raiders the first one. Oh yeah because it's so there's it's slow like kind of at the beginning yeah like after like the intro you know it's like him teaching and you know all that stuff and right okay you know it's so, a slower burn so Kate my capshaw that's it she plays willie scott i had to look it up mm -hmm. um my son we watched we watched raiders um probably uh within the last year or so and honestly other than the um the the Nazi dude that gets hit with the uh, the heavy the with the propeller. The, yeah, yeah, the heavy. <laughs> Situational awareness, bro. Um, <laughs> he didn't BSI pen man. Yeah, God, jeez. <laughs> um, other than that, I don't remember anything too crazy. Obviously, the face melting is is a bit much, but it's also so stupid. But I also can get as a kid why that would be scary, even though. Honestly, I think a lot of kids now would be like, that looks retarded. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he, he did fine. And honestly, my wife just usually just, you know, relegates it to, cool, well, you get to explain, you know, why the fuck he's having nightmares and why this shit is terrifying. Um, but I would like to circle back to um, the fucking Mickey uh, Christmas Carol and that whole, um, whatchamacallit, fiery hell thing. That was fucking terrifying. And that, you know, again, oh, I, dude, that yeah. was the, that was the fucking worst. Like, I feel like that was more terrifying for me of that, the, the grave thing and the, uh, the casket opening and the flames, dude, way more terrifying than the stupid faces melting in Raiders for me anyways, as a kid, the face of melting was like, okay, well, God, even at the time that was like low res and looked stupid, dude. You know what movie fucked me up as a kid was The Secret of Nim. You guys ever seen that? Heard of it? I've seen it, but I don't really remember. Yeah, I just I remember there was a spider just... scene and it freaked me out when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, it's Mrs. Whimsy or Rigby or something like that. And like they it's kind of like watership down a little bit where like the, the animation on it is like scary. Where like, you know, the the rats are that are in it, they're like drooling and have like bloodshot eyes and like all that stuff and they're just trying to kill her the whole time it's fucking terrifying as a kid i um, remember liking it i just don't remember the the whole story but i vaguely remember it uh, the scene that fucked me up is when i was seven or so i watched the i was just flipping through the channels and landed on hbo and it was the movie aliens where Bishop gets ripped in half and all that like white like goo shit like goes flying everywhere by the Queen Alien. I was being seven years old, is like watching it with like wide eyes, and it, like as my mom like walks in, it's like, "What are you doing?" and like changes the channel real quick. And I just remember like having nightmares about that for like. A Did week. you have your feet up on the desk? <laughs> <laughs> That's a throwback to a masturbation story from episode three ish. <laughs> You were tearing your own bishop in half. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, more yeah, the of movie, fun. The movie that fucked me up when I was a kid was Jaws. Oh, dude. Jaws kept me out of my friend's pools for about three summers. 
<laughs> and then you got to summer school and <laughs> yeah. couldn't stay away. I had to make up for lost time. <laughs> I, I was really little and we were at my mom's friend's house. And I mean, I was little enough that like, you know, it was probably like nine o'clock at night and she threw me in someone's bedroom to go to sleep on their bed. And I woke up an hour later because I heard noise and I came out and I kind of crept behind the couch. <laughs> And uh, they were watching a movie. It was on, I think it was on WHT, what it was called. That was like HBO before it was before HBO. Jesus Christ. And the movie was Demon Seed. Did you ever see it? Uh, I have. I've seen a different version of Demon Seed <laughs> than we're talking about. Probably. It, it, I think it was based on a Dean Koontz book and it's about this guy who creates this artificial intelligence, puts it in a robot and the robot becomes obsessed with its creator's wife and like the robot impregnates her somehow. It's a kind of like species sort of. Sort of like it, it keeps them locked in the house, I think. And, and I'm watching this fucking shit and I'm like eight terrified watching this robot rape this woman. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't I told, like robots. I, <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't like robots about, doing people things. So and fucking is definitely a people thing. So Terminator's off the fucking off the table for you. No droids. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew the name of the bartender and fucking <laughs> most Eisley. <laughs> I would have married it into WPW somehow. Yeah, because I, I saw I saw the Rocky Horror Picture Show when I was in seventh or eighth grade. I think I told you that. My babysitter took me into his. Into yeah, I shouldn't have told anyone that. To see it. <laughs> is is there anything scary about the Rocky Horror Picture Show other than like the drag and stuff? But I mean, is there any like? I mean, it's a little eerie and it's a little creepy because um, it's kind of set up like Dracula's Castle in the beginning. Yeah. Um, and everybody looks really weird, you know, when you're that age. And so, yeah, it was, it was unsettling. Um, and then it just went, became straight, straight up fucking bizarre and indecipherable for my young brain. I saw that movie when I was like 14 or something, which is way too young and not that like content wise, but like. If you're going to appreciate that movie, which you shouldn't, I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> Fucking horrible. It's got meatloaf in it. Come on. <laughs> it does. Let's do the time warp. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing that he was in that movie and he was fucking uh, Robert Paulson. Talk about growth as an actor. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of Rocky Horror. Not because it traumatized me but when you watch it as an adult it's like like i don't mind campy but it's just it's not entertaining yeah for, i i've seen it like once i just I, I i get there's a lot of hype i'm like okay am i supposed to be into this it's just not really my thing yeah i mean when you see it in the theater it, it's always a production because the people come and like dance in the aisles and throw fucking rice at the wedding and all that shit right and I don't know. For me, that's like, I, I don't go to um, Texas Roadhouse because number one, the food sucks. Number two, fucking people in cowboy hats dance in the aisles while I'm trying to eat. What Texas Roadhouse have you been to? Yeah, no. Are you at the bootleg Texas Roadhouse? Like, are you on the, like... Maybe that. Maybe I got like, the wrong place. There's some fucking steakhouse out here that I went to once and... You're, you're going to the Members <laughs> Mark Texas Roadhouse? <laughs> it was bad enough that there was fucking country music playing, but... I'm like halfway through my appetizer and that music gets real loud and all the wait staff start fucking two-stepping in, in the aisles. I thought it was oh. Texas Roadhouse, but I could be wrong. I don't think that's Texas Roadhouse. I mean, dear Lord. I'm... The it's only pretty... Texas Roadhouse I've ever been to is the one in Long Beach and I ain't nobody in Long Beach doing Texas two, or doing two-step. <laughs> so. Have you been to one in Arizona? No. no. That might be, maybe it's a local thing. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, it's, I don't know. <laughs> also, for the record, Texas Roadhouse is fucking delicious. Absolutely. I will fight you on that what, one, man. What, I, did, I, what did they do better? 
What do they do better? Yes. Better than better than who? If, better than I mean, Olive if, Garden? If you're a freaking mid <laughs> mid range steakhouse, what do they do better? So first off, their rolls are really fucking good. They're like drizzled with like butter and shit on them. And then they give you like a maple butter that goes on top of it. So you're like double buttering and like the fat fuck that I am. I love that shit. <laughs> more cholesterol. Yeah. It's not even keto friendly. And then, <laughs> and I, I know this really shouldn't, but, but like I'll fucking get down on a pound of peanuts before my pound steak even comes out here. But dude, the steaks are fucking good, man. They're always cooked good. And you know, seasoned correctly, and I'm all about Texas Roadhouse, man. I think they're better than all the other like mid range steak places. I see your Texas Roadhouse, and I raise you Firebirds. I will fucking crush some Firebirds. Is I don't Is that think a sub place. No, no, that's that's another fucking gimmicky uh, Arizona place. Oh. Um, no, uh, dude, Firebirds is one of the local steakhouses, and it's uh, dude. There's clearly better steakhouses out there, but like. I will like freaking any like holiday, whatever, like that, like I'm, you know, if it's my birthday, whatever, like, dude, I'm freaking getting a blue cheese bacon wrap filet and with Ooh. some lobster queso. And it's fucking insane. It's lobster so queso, good. dude. It's so bomb. And my son will freaking crush some lobster queso with us. <laughs> it's great. Oh, it's so good. And my, my charge and, uh, actually Canada, uh, you know, pee pants. Um, she, uh, they got, they got freaking to go from a steakhouse for on shift. I'm like, you bougie motherfuckers with your traveler money. Fuck wow. you guys. I wish <laughs> I could have steak and shrimp on shift. God damn, man. Now I don't eat blue cheese cause I find it repulsive, but putting it on a steak. <laughs> well, you're that wrong. Just, that sounds, that's fucking sinful. Yeah, I'm with hard stick on this one. Fucking oh. I love blue cheese. I've had blue cheese and toasted almonds on top of a steak. And most of the time I'm like, if I'm having a steak, I just want a steak. Blue cheese is the only like exception I'll make to that. Every once in a while, it's fucking good. Oh. Right. And my wife will watch a bunch of cooking shows. And they're like, oh, no, you just need salt and pepper your steak. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> it needs more bacon. It doesn't even have blue cheese on it. It's bacon, I'm fine with. You guys are, you're an iron chef. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see any blue cheese <laughs> <laughs> fucking hacks. I mean, I, I can't, I can't smell blue cheese. I'll start fucking dry even. Oh, oh really? That's a shame. Um, hey, blue cheese yeah, is fucking good. Any, any rancid dairy, blue cheese, any of the fucking soft, squishy French cheeses, mayo. Fuck. I, I get mayo on my sandwich and don't check it first and get a taste of that shit. I will fucking punch a hole through a fucking fridge. Hold on. Are you saying that you will eat a Maricopa County EMS room turkey sandwich without trying to put some mayo on it to like liven it up? Are you insane? You eat that dry? <laughs> You've got the what I'll eat out of that EMS room and what I won't eat out of that EMS room <laughs> first. Because <laughs> fuck, I'm not eating that either. My old roommate used to used to boil artichokes and then dip them in mayonnaise. Yeah, dude, my folks used to do it all the time. Dude, but, shit's gross. I like I'm I like mayonnaise just fine, but like dipping food into it, and nah, I draw the yeah, line right before no, that. Yeah, dude, my my first girlfriend turned me on to uh, ranch for fries, and I, dude, I didn't know anybody that did that. I've never even seen that. That's freaking, you know, life altering. Oh no, that's amazing. a game changer. Like that's how I got these bitch tits, man. Dipping fries into ranch. That's how I. That's how I get banned from restaurants. Like projectile vomit across the fucking table. If I taste that shit. Any of that rancid dairy, sour cream. So can't even smell it. Not ranch either. No ranch. Nope. What? Nope. Just makes me fucking rich. Then how really? is your cholesterol level so high? I don't understand. Okay, you put so all the best gonna... cheeses and sauces on stuff. What the fuck I'm are you doing? Throw this out there. I did drunk CEs, so you get I get to fucking watch you do a couple shots of like ranch and blue cheese dressing and some fucking mayonnaise and all that stuff. Ugh. Um uh 131 on March 12th. I'm making this uh <laughs> declaration. This shit is happening now. It's content. It's fucking content. You can oh. wear you can wear your little GTA mask if you want, but I, I want to see this. Oh, I'm gonna have to wear a fucking rain slicker. <laughs> a slicker. <laughs> uh, can, just, th- just thinking about it, 
like my mouth is what like the back of my throat is water oh like licking a battery i can't watch people eat that shit really it's that like, bad oh yeah dude who hurt you <laughs> i don't know where it it just it smells like fucking paint and it tastes worse all that shit <laughs> oh uh, there are see, so many I, fucked up things with your childhood, and that's one of the saddest <laughs> things that you don't appreciate <laughs> sauce. <clears throat> oh, I love sauce. Oh, it's excuse me, gravy. Shit. It's gravy, right? <laughs> no, it's sauce. Okay. I think that gravy shit is a is a Hollywood thing. <clears throat> see, I'm kind of like that with milk a little bit because milk is you're just drinking a big glass of mucus, and like trying to figure out whether milk is good or bad. It's impossible to tell because milk always smells like asshole to me. Like you just get a little like crusty milk around the rim and you're just sniffing that shit. Like, Oh, it smells terrible. It must be good. I've seen that video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two girls, one funnel, one gallon. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Well on that note, uh, <laughs> you guys ready and end of this shit. Yeah, I don't know how long we've been going because those technical difficulties reset I, the clock each time. I think we're about an hour now, so probably a good time to cut it off. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks everyone for listening <sighs> and look forward to the next podcast when Meat Bowls drinks ranch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're welcome for my service. Oh, revenge. Bye, everybody. It's a great, great pleasure. Bye -bye. I'm fucking drunk. It's a great pleasure to have all of you here today. I'm fucking drunk. I'm fucking drunk. I thought you all might begin your tour here. <laughs>